protein. The first one is, you know, to mask the odor, taste, and color of the drug or the uh, of the drug. Okay. Second, as you rightly said, it provides not only physical, but it also provides the chemical protection because it is not your now your drug is not going to come in contact with the air. It is not going to come in contact with the humidity, moisture, etc. It is so it is protecting. Okay, so it gives chemical and physical protection. It also controls the release of the drug. So you can make a sustained release tablet. You can make a control release tablet. You can make an enteric coat tablet, or you can make a uh, extended release tablet. Okay, so it controls the release of the drug from the tablet. Most important, which are which we didn't mention, is that you protect the drug from the gastric environment. Okay, so if you are preparing an extended release, uh, form, uh, sorry, enteric coated dosage form, then what you are actually doing is you are actually protecting the drug from the gastric environment. This is very important if your drug is acid sensitive in nature. It avoids chemical incompatibility. Okay, so if there are uh, uh, so if there are two tablets, okay, so what you can do is you can close the first tablet and you can have the coating of the another tablet, as we did, did for inlay tablets. If you remember, tablet in tablet. So what we did was we did you took we took one tablet, we coated it, and on that coat we applied the another tablet. Okay, so in layer tablet, absolutely right. In layer tablet, we have seen this. That is inlay tablets. Okay, and as somebody rightly pointed out, uh, to increase the elegance. Okay, so the elegance has been improved. The kids they are happy to take it, so it increases the compliance also to improve the pharmaceutical elegance by using colors and by using the printing on it. What is happening is the compliance has also been increased. Okay, so these are some of the objectives. There are many other objectives that are given in your textbook also. You can go through them, but these are some of the major important objectives that of the tablet coating now how does the coating process takes place now coating pro in coating process what you do is we prepare first a coating composition the coating composition is prepared by number of uh, ingredients what are these ingredients these ingredients are nothing but excipients of uh, you can say uh, coating formulation and these we are going to see in detail what basically we want to what we want to have is we want to have colors okay we want to have the color and we want to have the coating onto the tablet so for that we are going to prepare a coating composition the coating composition consists of color it consists of the polymeric material which you are going to see in very detail it consists of a solvent it consists of a plasticizer okay and it consists of a solvent system okay these all together when you mix it it, it may contain sugar also okay in many cases in sugar coating you have sugar also so it the this is the coating composition this coating composition is applied on moving beds of tablet so you have a bed of tablet which is continuously moving okay why it is continuously moving it is continuously moving so that new surface of the tablet is coming in contact with this coating solution okay so this coating composition is applied on the moving bed of tablet at the same time what you are doing what you are doing is you up you are applying heated air okay in the system this heated air helps to remove the solvent that is present inside the coating composition okay this coating composition is uh, this coating is nothing but similar to the coating that you apply onto your wall when you are doing painting isn't it what you do over there is you bring the paint, you add that those are polymers, okay, over here, the paints are polymers. Then you add a solvent system to it. At home, you add water, etc. to it. So you add a solvent system to it. You take a brush. Here, the role of brush in coating process is, is done by the gun. You have the guns which spray this uh, material onto the tablet. Your surface, uh, over here, the surface is tablet. Over there, your surface is the wall. And what you do is you apply the coat and then the whatever the solvent is present it gets evaporated off it gets dried and the coat remains onto the wall for a longer period of time here also the coat remains onto the tablet for a longer period of time so this is nothing but the coating process coating process is accomplished by movement of tablet in perpendicular or vertical direction so that is the movement of the tablet that happens okay and where it happens inside the coating 